Eddie Murphy. I mean, we can't talk funny comedy and legendary comedy without bringing up Eddie, man. We just can't do it. I mean, I feel like Eddie was one of the guys that went from stand-up right to the big screen. So it's kind of like people will go, well, he didn't do a lot. He did a lot. He just did a lot on that screen, Saturday Night Live and everything. Let me know what you know your favorite roles are from Eddie Murphy. I mean, there's so many. And let me know some backstory if you've ever met him, you ever been to one of his comedy specials. Anything along them lines will be cool. This is Eddie Murphy about men and women. I think this is off of his Delirious special. Right now, let's have a Delirious Raw competition in the comments. Let me know which special I should bring up after this one. Right, Del Delirious or Raw so I can make my decision. And without further ado... You know, because I'm used to American women saying, you don't own me. <laughs> hey, baby, where you going? <laughs> You're right. Excuse me? <laughs> I said, where you going? You don't own me. You my woman, ain't you? I don't see no rings on these fingers. <laughs> Are you going to put a ring on this finger? Well, I will, I will, I will. Well, then you don't owe me in, okay? First of all, let me tell you, I don't give a fuck who you are or what you have, okay? You got a whole lot of nerve to come inside and ask me where I'm going. I come and go as I please. I don't answer my father. I ain't going to answer no man either. Ain't no man going to tell me where I can go. I come and go. You got a whole lot of motherfucking nerve. Who the hell do you think you are anyway? Well, come and ask me where I'm going. Nobody owns me. I own myself. I'm my own person. <laughs> and we hear all that shit. Be, okay. <laughs> well, where you going to be? I'm going to be where I'm at. <laughs> You don't own me. You got to be careful. You got to have a J-O-B in the 80s. You got to have some money. You got to have some money. You can't get no pussy. Listen to the radio. That's what it's about. Listen to Madonna. I'm a material girl and a material world. You ain't got no money. You can't have no pussy. <laughs> Basically what it is. There's a song out now called Got to Have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. Yeah, nothing going on. And lyrics go, ain't nothing going on but the rent. Like if you went up and said, hey, babe, what's going on? The rent, motherfucker. <laughs> Do you have a job? Well, I will, I will, I will. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> got to have some money. It says no romance without finance. And women love them songs. They go, got to have a J-O-D. <laughs> Janet Jackson got a hit record. What have you done for me lately? What's, cra what's cracking me up is I know these songs because of growing up with my mom. My mom used to play these songs. That's why I'm like, yeah, women did love these songs right here because this is my mom's song. You know, no ain't going on but the red top. If you heard of that song, let me know in the comments, man. That's a classic right there. Janet Jackson got a hit record. What have you done for me lately? That's what they be thinking. What have you done for me lately? The record start off like that. I know he used to do shit for you, but what has he done for you lately? <laughs> Baby, I love you. What have you done for me lately? It's crazy, bro. You the only thing on my mind. What have you done for me lately? We make good love. What have you done for me lately? What's crazy about it is 30, 40 years, the songs have gotten more. It's, it's the same premise. Same premise, same premise, and the woman's. Uh, there are some songs in here that are kind of like that, you know, where it's not even about love more no more, it's more about finance. So, yeah, it's times are still going the same. Eddie. Out, guys, don't get trapped. We call them pussy traps. Let's call them pussy traps. It's a trap, they trap you with the pussy, they catch you with the pussy. This is what they do to you. It's a trap. <laughs> the most common trap is to not give you any, though. Don't think like maybe you know you're gonna put a trap on. The most common is when you ain't getting any at all. That's the trap. When you meet a woman and everything is perfect. And she won't do anything, it's a trap. Sometimes it backfires because a lot of women play these games with sex. And ladies like sex just as much as we do, guys. But they act like they don't. But they do. It's not a woman. It's not a woman in this room right now wouldn't rather be somewhere else with a nice stiff one in them. Don't you let them fool you. <laughs> they like it just as much as us. See a lady sitting there going, that's true. <laughs> he's funny, but he's not that funny. I'll take a dick over a smile in a day. Yes, I will. <laughs> they like it just as much as us, but they play these games. See, you know where it backfires on you, ladies? When you go meet a guy, and he wants you, you want him, and you like each other, and everything is perfect, but you won't do anything. He say, baby, let's go. You say, no, I'm not going to do it. And after that, he don't like you no more, but he still wants to fuck you. <laughs> so he waits. He be like, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> Good night. And you wait. You wait three months. Then you finally get it, and she's like this, I'm yours. And you go, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you and your pussy. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I 
tell you why all men fool around. Look at the lady. Why? Because men fool around because of this. And look at all the women in the audience right now looking up here like this. <laughs> we fool around because we figured women out. We did. See, a lot of you ladies going, what does he mean he figured it out? And dumb niggas going, yeah, what do you mean we figured about? <laughs> we figured you out in this sense, and this is true. And anybody's ever done this, anybody will agree. Anytime anybody's ever done this will agree what I'm going to say. Any woman that's ever had this done to her will agree what I'm going to say. And those of you who've never done this will sit there and go, I disagree. But once you make a woman come real hard, once you make a woman say, ooh, no matter how bad you fuck up, no matter what you do wrong, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, as long as you say, I'm sorry, she will listen to your story. And that's the truth. That's the God's honest truth. It right. is the truth. Stop it. It's the truth. It's the truth. And ladies, as soon as we all make that noise, a uh, man, your relationship will change with your man because we know. We wait on that noise. We be waiting on it because we know we can act different. As soon as you go, ooh, we know we can act a fool in. <laughs> Remember when your man couldn't make it, he would call? No more of that shit. He heard you go, woo, woo. Remember you want to spend all this free time with you? No more of that, because you made that noise. Your man can act crazy. We know. As soon as you go, woo, woo, woo our face is in the pillow like this. I got this motherfucker now, man. <laughs> and then you start talking to him. Whose pussy is this? Whose pussy is this? Oh, your pussy! Your pussy! Hey, how about that? <laughs> and your relationship changes from that moment. Woman be sitting on the bed, a leg shaking, go, oh my god, oh, I can't believe it, oh, I never came out that before, oh my god, I can't believe it. And then man get real cold on you, say some shit like, why don't you shake your ass home? <laughs> Why you do, what are you talking about? Why are you treating me like this? We have a relationship. You don't own me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I don't own you? We have a relationship, I thought that we go together. I don't see no rings on your finger. <laughs> but I love you! Well, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> That's real. And don't you think for two seconds that if you keep breaking this woman's heart and keep fucking her over, your sweet, innocent, little, sweet, loving, darling woman, she eventually will go out and fuck someone else. Don't think she won't. <laughs> don't think she won't. Look, all the men's faces, they're like this now. <laughs> Men don't like to picture their woman fucking nobody. A, that's taboo. Like, watch the guy's faces. Ladies, look at them. Guys, picture your woman fucking your best friend. <laughs> look at them, isn't it? <laughs> hey, your woman is like this. I tell you, be careful. And women ain't like us. It's not their nature to fool around. And it's that they're like, we'll go out and sneak out to the hotel and, and have to wash your dick in the sink and all that shit. Women, women gonna do it classy. They don't fuck around like us. They gonna do it classy. It's like, hey, I don't do this often. I'm gonna do it right. You know when your woman's gonna fool around? When you keep messing her over, then eventually she says some shit like this. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna go to the Bahamas by myself for the weekend. <laughs> and you say, you want me to go with you? You go, no, just me and my girlfriends are going. Me and my friend. And we so stupid, we start thinking about all the pussy we can get while she gone. <laughs> you gonna go by yourself? Yes. Okay. Crying and all of a sudden a dude named Dexter walks up. <laughs> Dexter St. <Saint> Jock. <laughs> he walk up swinging his dick. <laughs> Any good that smooth Bahamas shit on your woman? What a beautiful girl like you doing by yourself on the island alone. <laughs> this is the island for lovers. You should be being held right now. Girl, what you crying about? <laughs> I'm having some problems with my boyfriend, so I came down here to think it over. But tell me what hotel that your man staying in me. Go over there and tell him that you treat a woman like you like a princess. If you a white woman, I make love to you constantly. <laughs> what hotel this man staying in? Yeah. He's back in New York. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> well, listen, girl. Won't you come back around my place? We sit down and talk it over. Well, all we're going to do is talk.
take your woman to his house and roll one of them big ass Bahama joints. <laughs> shit this big and shit. Put some of that Bob Molly music on. Y'all know Bob be preaching and this shit. Don't let him fool you. Oh no. <laughs> na 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 na. Or even try to school you. Oh yeah. Could this be love? Then be love. Dick swinging. <laughs> Next thing you know, Dexter is fucking your woman. <laughs> well. <laughs> Send your woman home, floating on air. Walk through the door like this, I shot the sheriff. <laughs> and we so stupid, we think it was the weather. We be going, hey, baby, you need to get away more often. And she be like this, uh-huh. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, man, he's a legend, man, hands down. A lot of uh, comedians were inspired by Eddie Murphy and how he told his stories and how he, you know, was humble enough to open up to y'all about his family life because all of this is his family life, and that's what I appreciate about a good comedian opening up to us, the consumer. Um, if you guys want me to get into Delirious or Raw, make sure you let me know in the comments. I want to pick one and go in. Um, you guys let me know which one. Uh, we're at 49,000 subs on the channel. I want to get to a million subs. So hit the top bell, and I'll see you on the next one.